What's going on, everybody? I'm Kevin from Cigar Prop, and it is another Drew Estate Tobacco and Tech Tip Sunday, powered by Monster Energy Rehab. Oh, what a perfect, perfect pairing. All right. If you have to order parts from Amazon, don't involve me in your nonsense. Um, I had to order a taillight after Hurricane Ian came through. Uh, it ripped the taillight uh, cover, uh, lens cover off of Jessica's uh, terrain. Um, none of the dealerships uh, uh, had any. We, I mean, we couldn't get we couldn't get parts in. The hurricane was just bad, um, and I, I wasn't traveling uh, to Orlando from Sarasota here to a dealer to pick one up. So I had one delivered by Amazon. The fit, not perfect, but it got her by. I notice now, you know, this is two years later, that the uh, the other lens is starting to delaminate uh, a little bit. It happens here in the Florida heat. So do I buy another lens off Amazon to match or do I go with two factory lenses? I'm going with two factory lenses. Uh, like I said, the fit wasn't quite right. Um, those are things that you can buy off of Amazon as long as you're, you're understanding that the parts aren't going to fit just perfectly um if if you buy those don't bring them to me to install them because we've had this happen in the past someone brings an aftermarket part and it doesn't fit quite right and the customer is not happy uh well it it doesn't look quite right you didn't buy the part from me you didn't buy it from me you didn't buy a factory part you bought a cheap part um and then well i think i'm just going to return it put my old one back on and then um Oh, why is there a charge? You, you didn't put anything on. I did the work. I did the work that you asked for. Our company does not allow us to put on customer provided parts. We have made exceptions in the past. I don't make exceptions. Not this guy, not at my shop. Recently, we've had two situations come up. Um, one, the shop next door to us um, sent a customer over. They did some work. They really don't get into TPMS, the tire pressure monitoring system diagnosis. We do. They come over. Hey, Wayne just uh, did this for us. Uh, he said you can help us out. Um, uh, yeah, he mounted uh, some tires, TPMS, all of that. Um, and now we need the system reset. And I go, did, did he relearn this? Did, did he program the sensors before he put them in the wheels? And the guy's like, oh, I, I, don't, I don't know. And I go, it's going to go a couple ways. One, I'll try and reset it. 15 bucks. Um, uh, and then a quick way around, hopefully it works. B, they need to be reprogrammed, which means I got to deflate the tires, break down the sidewalls, um, and then go, you know, re you know, program them, air everything back up, put it back on, on the car. Uh, that's an hour's labor, about 125 bucks. Um, or um, I can scan them. Hopefully they'll scan, get the, the, the key tags, plug my, my scanner in, program them that way, still about a hundred bucks. Um, so all because of Amazon nonsense. Um, and then another shop that doesn't really deal with that. They should have, well, we did go over there. I went over there and said, Hey Wayne, just let you know, like, so a lot of these have to be programmed. So if you're installing them, come see us first, you know, we trade work back and forth and, uh, you know, I'll program for you at no charge. I'll, you know, I got my own scanner. I'll, I'll hook you up since you guys do, a, you know, everything for us. And then, you can put them in the customer's wheels, bring them over here, and then it'll just be a quick $15 thing. Um, the customer didn't know. Uh, they said they come programmed. They weren't programmed. Ended up being like $125. Bucks. Customer was pissed off. A um, little irritated at me. Just think, oh, it's just just plug your thing in. It's never just plug your little tool in. People, we just don't do that. Um, so, yeah, just buy reputable parts. You don't, don't go from Amazon buying electronics things bolt on like a tail light no wiring i'm going somewhere with this um yeah you can put those on if you if you buy something online and you come back to us to have it diagnosed because you installed it your friend installed it tell us where you bought it from tell us it's an amazon part if you say i got this from advanced auto parts AutoZone, we know we know where to start good quality part if you say it's amazon uh we gotta start all the way from the beginning sometimes the amazon part not going to diagnose your problem. Um, had a set of headlights. Customer bought his own headlights on Amazon. Brought them to us to have them put in. 
Now, with these uh, national back order, one of them was broken, uh, got in a little bit of an accident. So the guys, he's a good customer. I said, no, I go, don't do it. Amazon boxes, it's going to bite you guys in the ass. I stayed away from it. And uh, I don't know, five hours later, they were still screwing around with it. Uh, end up being the headlights, they weren't just put the bulbs in and then plug your wiring in. The, the headlights are pre-wired. And then you plug into a main harness. Kept popping fuses, kept everything else. Like, oh, it was in an accident. There must be something else going wrong. Um, one of the new kids didn't test everything to begin with, so he doesn't know if all the lights worked. Customer's like, yeah, everything worked just fine. Customer's always going to say that. Light wasn't on before you started. This was fine before you did it. Ever since you, ever since you, um, me, I would have checked all the lights beforehand, double checked that everything was working. Then when you put the new headlights in, if everything stops working, all right, what's the common denominator here? It's the headlights. But we didn't know. They didn't know that the lights were working prior because they didn't check them. Come to find out the wiring in the headlight was wrong. They wired them wrong. And the technician never, it never occurred. They're brand new, brand new out of the box. Uh, customers had an accident, a little bit of bumper damage. One, one of the headlight was busted. There must be an issue with the car itself, you know, and then they're looking at the wiring on the car, tracing, fuses, all that multimeter things happening. Um, and I am just over on my bay, just wrenching away, just giggling because I knew the conversation I was going to have with the team afterwards. So after all said and done, they figured out it was the headlights, reverse some wires, everything was working just fine. Of course, customer didn't want to pay anymore. We'd already quoted book time pays to R and R a set of headlights. It was like two hours you know, to, to replace everything else. Um, we couldn't come back with a customer. You know, they tried, you know, we're going to need a little bit. I don't, I don't have any more money. I just, you, you quoted me this. That's all I had. And so we had to suck it up and we had to eat it. Um, me personally, in that situation, customer is kind of being rude. I'd have put the old headlights back in. Now you got a broken headlight. We're gonna we're not gonna charge you anything. Not saying, but I don't know. I, I look back, I probably wouldn't have done that. Um, but yeah, so we didn't make any money on that job. No money at all. And uh at least the customer was thankful, good customer. We got everybody together afterwards, and uh and I said, What did we learn today? We do not install customer provided parts per company policy. Um, this is why we don't do it. Um, this is a job that like I said, we just, we shouldn't have gotten into electronic components purchased off Amazon. Yes, it was for a good customer. Um, I understand why they wanted to do it. The customer would have understood why we as a company don't install customer provided parts. Um, now, with that being said, we have to warranty that part. We have to offer that customer a warranty on those headlights. We didn't sell them the headlights. If anything goes wrong and that customer knows the law here in Florida, which states as a licensed automobile repair shop, I must warranty every single component. I must offer some kind of warranty on every single component I sell to a customer or no, I install on a vehicle and charge the customer anything for. So those headlights, you know, that, that we charge to install, we now have to warranty. Most customers aren't going to know that. Some customers do know that. And they know that for a reason because they're trying to get one over on us. And it has happened in the past. The Florida law says you have to offer me some kind of warranty. Ooh, that is not going to bite this guy. Um, but yeah. Anything with electronic components, don't buy off Amazon. Do not buy off Rock Auto. Um, the internet's not going to warranty your component. Your local advanced auto parts, AutoZone, uh, Napa, O'Reilly's, they are local to you. They, they will warranty. They will work with you. Um, they will work with us. If a component fails on yours and you bring it to us, we've had it. We've called, hey, this guy bought this from you. Can you warrant? And they'll work with us. So, um, yeah. Stay away from Amazon components that have any kind of wiring in them at all. 